Another thing we got to talk about is an article that came out in the New York Times just saying the future of social media is a lot less social. Facebook and Twitter seem to be increasingly connecting users with brands and influencers uh, to restore a sense of community. Some users are trying smaller social networks. I think what's happened, um, and I would consider this as a backlash of the 2016 to maybe 2021 days where everyone was getting canceled and uh, for anything you said. And people, I think, might be older generations were first coming on to like a Facebook and getting caught in the political turmoil and people were ruining their careers and ruining friendships by posting things on their page. I think as much as we want to know about like vacations and certain things, there's other aspects that I think people want to just keep, uh, you know, off social media. So instead of sharing news articles or sharing political opinions and all this other stuff, that is sort of moved into your smaller, more trusted group. And we've all known families getting ruined because of all the election talk and all that other stuff in the last few years. I think, um, you know, it became a place where people would just, you know, feel reaffirmed by the things they said online and they would double down on their opinions within their normal friends group and it was, you know, relationships and things got weird. I think we all started to see the world different as we started to add sort of the things we saw online to people that we met in real life. Oh, this person might follow this person, this person might have voted for this person. And we start to sort of push ourselves away from people more. I think what you're seeing is a lot of the sharing is going to the people that you definitely trust, that you value their opinions, that you feel safe with. So into messenger, into text chains, into you know private groups, less sharing to news feeds. So all the random people in your ecosystem, high school friends and things like that, um, become you know could see that stuff and becomes a volatile situation so you're sort of seeing the rebellion aspect of that versus where it was all about before sharing your stuff to the feed to amplify it to sort of you know uh, be part of the movement and i think another thing that you're going to see um within that social media is you know a lot of people want to be more active and maybe supporting their businesses and personal brands or small businesses but you know the aspect that facebook and instagram particularly were built on the friends graph it feels a little bit harder to post there's a little bit of a self-doubt. There's a little bit of an insecurity with your friends and family seeing that content. So I think with the rise of TikTok and some of these other things like YouTube Shorts, where your content's more going into the For You page, right? It's going out to sort of random people, less about your followers, or you can start new on a platform that's not you know, bombarded with your friends. You're seeing that you're trying to find your community in different ways, right? So smaller groups, little Twitch following, stuff, stuff like that, where you can sort of build a safe space online. I think it's trying to find that again versus the broader building just huge monster audiences. So I think while there's a, um, a little bit of a hybrid to that, I think uh, for some people trying to build personal brands, I definitely think the smaller communities and having like a small business is the way that all of this is going. I consider where the internet's moving now is more, uh, I think 1920, mom and pop businesses online, uh, small communities where you can make a hundred grand off of selling your own custom shirts versus trying to everyone be the next Walmart. You can have a lot of people, small agencies, consulting, solopreneurs, you know, freelancers. Everyone's trying to be more of a mom and pop, have your own business. And I think that's a great thing. I think that uh, takes power away from the big companies, gives you freedom and a little bit of um, empowerment to have your own business, gives you some security or a side hustle to help uh, supplement your income. And I think this is just a big part of that. And you're seeing more of the tools adopting that and a lot of the networks trying to like Facebook groups and, you know, chat apps. Um, Discord, things like that coming out where it's about com smaller communities and pockets of people. So 